Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood let's player Spider One and I welcome you to a little unknown gem from the Amiga 500 called Jar. As you can see, it is a game in 19, made in 1994 by Michael Bow. And well this is pretty much uh, everybody knows Scorched Earth Worms type of game where you have robots uh, robot tanks of the future battling against each other in a battle in a big battlefield uh, to see who is the winner so yeah well it's just an artillery game as it explains down there that you can shoot many different weapons at once this allows an almost inf infinite combination of weapons so be creative yes that is what I really liked about this game. Yeah, I do like Char, and I'm not gonna send you any US dollars because this was almost 20 years ago. Anyway, what I really do like about this game is how inventive it is uh, compared to Scorched Earth or anything else. As you know, Scorched Earth is sort of very simple. You choose your weapon and then, then you shoot. And pretty much like I played Artillery Duel, it, it was very simplistic. You just choose your power and then you choose your uh, uh, trajectory on what angle you're gonna shoot and then you just shoot but this game that really this is even more complex than Scorched Earth or anything else and I think I'm gonna play against five computers so there's not gonna be too much of uh, going on because this game can go on a long time if you have all eight opponents, all seven opponents, so... But having five gives you all the variety, because I will use... Yeah, this, uh, mu this intro music is really weird. I like the other music that's in the game. And I gotta play three rounds, and I... Now, as I was explaining, I will take only five of the computers, because... There are five levels of AI in the game, so I will choose... One of each. It's always much more fun to pick up also the most dumb and the most expert AI because it gives variety to the game. But Eva, enough explanation, so let us get on to the game. And of course, uh, of course, I'm going to be myself. I don't think I can fit my whole name. I can't. Can I? No. Yeah, just as I'm remembering, it wouldn't. So, I instead, I shall be known as a spider. Begin the destruction. <laughs> and the player type uh, for player two will be idiot. I will put them in order. And there's no need to name the players because they will be random, randomly picked by the uh, program, so to speak. They're all randomly picked. Randomly picked names for the AI. So next one is stupid. And then it will be average. And then it shall be smart. And the last one shall be a genius. <laughs> Mike out. Well, thanks, Mike. Welcome to Char. Indeed. Let's get on with this. This game uh, was always a lot of fun, and it shall be a lot of fun now! <laughs> I'm so gonna die many times. The sights will warp. Okay, that's always good to read what it what the sights will do, because the sights can do all kinds of things. They can dot your weapons, they can warp. The warping means that if you shoot from uh, to the other side, like I would shoot to the left now, and hit the wall, it would come out from the other side. And also the... Um, Walls can explode, and the sides can explode, which makes your uh, whenever you shoot explode, and it can uh, uh, revert, uh, which means that it inverts, and which means that it will bounce back, or it will just bounce off. So there's many things that the walls can do, which uh, also are pretty much the same things that your shields can do, because this game has shields. Now let me explain. So. The bouncer, said, like it says, bullets bounce off of it. 
So they will just bounce off your shield. And where the bullets bounce back, and they will return back to the shooter, but not in the same angle. But almost in the same angle. I mean, it will return. To, it was, it's just like a return to sender. Then we have the normal shield, which absorbs lessens damage from explosions. Then we have absorb, completely absorbs direct hits. Absorb is a very, very good one because it really does absorb. As you can see, the uh, I'm the one on the left if you're watching the robots. The one on the right is now using an absorb circle. It it's the color that tells you uh, absorb is uh, a violet. Uh, the repel pushes away incoming artillery. It's always a dome. The repel is always a dome. Or it can be something else. You can click from here. Yeah, only a dome can repel be. But I'm not gonna pick up repel. Repel is only for later because it costs a lot. It's not well. It doesn't cost a lot, but uh, it's not very tactical because your sights will be open because it can only be a dome. And you have angles, you have sides, and you have circle. The dome is just a, uh, just a, like a uh, ceiling above you. The angles are just uh, on the four uh, diagonal angles. So that is a really crappy shield. And the sides, well of course they are on the sides, but your top is vulnerable, which is a very bad idea. And then there's of course the circle. The circle is the best one, but it costs the most. Angles is the most uh, cost-worthy because it's very cheap, very cheap, but you're very vulnerable to things. And of course, there's the size, but that's like I said, very dumb. Circle is the best. So I will go with circle, and I will take the heavy bouncer because bouncing is always nice. Just letting the uh, bullets that come at you to bounce off of your shield, and then you just. Yeah, you can uh, push the X to keep your old defense or cancel this one. Because later, because yeah, in the later rounds you can still keep it, uh, or unless you want to change it. And here we deploy our new defense. Beep. So there's one with repel. Those two have the uh, the invert, which will return the sender. And like I said, he has the absorb, and that's a roller, I guess, or, or skimmer. I will explain the weaponry when we get to it. So there's two repels, two inverts, and one absorb. Oh, he changed to the bouncer. I guess he's one of the stupid ones because the stupid guy, those good stupid uh, AIs always change their shields each time. They shoot. And as you saw, that exploded. That one of oh, that one of those bullets actually hit the dude with the repel. Uh, shield. That's because uh, it came down, the bullet came down so fast that the repel couldn't uh, react to it. So I guess he has only he or she, these, these are all named by women. So they only had a repel instead of a strong repel. But anyway, now it's my turn. So let's see. We can always preview the landscape. We can see how far everybody is. Okay. My best bet would be him, or those two. Uh, would be a nice to put one there, but I don't know where to shoot. And as I said, it it warps, as you saw, it came from the other side. I could shoot to the left to shoot this one with the repel. That would be really nasty. But uh, I think I'm going to shoot this guy with the absorb for now. So let's see, uh, the green and the angle... Uh, let's put that uh, to 250, whatever. Okay, so let's get on to the weaponry. Now, this is the prime of this game. You have several types of weaponry. It's never random. Everybody has the same things, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. But hey, in Worms, everybody has the same weapons too for a limited amount. This one has the limited amount of how much money you have. When you win, uh, you get the most money from winning a round and also killing the most. You get always get money from killing people. 
You can always shoot a dot, which always says zero, to just to see where it hits. But there's also lots of different kind of uh, weaponry. The thing that we saw, the one use, it was it were it was either a roller that rolls down hill and explodes, or the skimmer that rolls around until it explodes or hits something to explode. And the other one that the other other one used uh, used was the tunneler. Oh, I'm sorry, the driller burrows until its momentum stops. That's why it stopped in the middle, because the tunneler will just bounce off the bottom and then resurface and explode, and the digger will explode when it hits the bottom. Diggers and tunnelers are really good for for anybody who's underground, trapped underground, so you can easily destroy them. The nuclear blast is the uh, biggest explosion that you can have, and it really clears out the. Uh, environment while the uh, while these uh, shells don't really clear out the uh, as you saw the explosion that happened with the uh, with the digger that that's the explosion that the shells do while the blasts actually clear out the whole area com <coughs> completely clear it out and then there's lava and dirt and dirt shots and the dirt skimmers are just to you know, screw up with the other, with the other players. And also, now that I've explained all the weapons, you have also the choice of, the method of uh, firing. You have the spread out, which spreads all the ammo out in a uh, funnel. You have the bracket in, which bounces back and forth, uh, very unreliable, depending on what kind of ammunition you choose to use. Uh, the ball bounce, that the, it bounces like a thrown ball, depending on how many weapons you deploy, it bounces on and on. And we got the wacky, and weapons blow up all over it. Yeah, it hits the ground, and then they just go all over the place. Then there's the umbrella, when it hits the ground, in the, the, uh, the ammunition opens up opens up like a, and spreads out like an umbrella. Then we got the jackhammer, which is very useful when somebody has a shield. You just hit them and the jackhammer, it uh, opens up in a straight line all the ammunition and they come down bearing gifts. And then there's the normal normal bombard that shoots all the ammunition in one in the same place. One at a time. Then there's the bombing run, you, which uh, shoots uh, one pellet and it drops the uh, other ammunition that you have along the way until it's all gone down. And then there's the air burst, uh, which is uh, it shoots up into the air and then in the air it bursts into random directions. And then there's the mid-air split, which uh, splits before it hits target. In the air it splits up into a funnel. And the spread out, like I said, it shoots the ammunition in a funnel right away. So, after explaining all that, let's see, I'm gonna use the Bombard for this guy. Now where is it? Where, where, there it is. And I'm gonna use... Uh, let's see, he's so there. I'm gonna use two large rollers. You don't really need to use like 17,000 large rollers when you know it's gonna hit the other one. Because when it when the first one hits, the other may hit the back of the uh, shield, so they will get double damage from the rollers. And if you if I put another one, the third one would just uh, roll on into that uh, landscape wall back there, so it wouldn't do any damage. So it's always with those rollers, it's always a good thing to just use two. With that, let's fire our weapon. Boom! Oh, ooh, ooh! I hit his shield. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now I know exactly where to hit, and that's a moron. <laughs> oh, if you have insurance, I like I like those uh, lines that they always say. Feel the power of the dark side. It's always fun. There's a lot of lines in the game, and <laughs> oh, dude. There you go, stupid and idiot shooting. And we got Chesley. Bend over. You forgot, bitch. 
Oh, using lava. Okay, that does a little damage to that shield. Unless it's lots of lava, then we might do... No, it's just lava. So it doesn't do much damage. Big fish eats ink! I don't know what that means. And that was a big uh, shell, I think. It looked, oh, no, that was a medium shell. Your shoes untied. Oh, crap, that might hit me. Go further, go further, go further. Oh, no, it's a mid-air mid split. Ow. Jesse got real. That was a. That was the blast. Like I said, it really clears the area out, and I didn't get hit. That's good. Okay, so let's see. That was a bit. That was right on target. So let's try that again. I could use the nuclear blast or a big shell, but then uh, I'm just gonna play it safe for now and use more lar large rollers. That's good. Look, looking good. Oh yeah, looking real good. Yeah. It's not much damage that the rollers do, but it's good. It's good enough. Bend over. <laughs> nice doing a medium blast through your own face. Defense damage is 98. Almost lost its, lost its shield. If I can get the shield off, I can just shoot again and kill it. Because I know exactly what kind of power to use. Have a nice day! <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Don't be anything big explodey thingy. Oh well. That was anticlimactic. Don't hurt me! That, that's what we're trying to do here, you know. And you're doing a fine job hurting yourself. <laughs> Use the skimmer and it's going back. See, this is what I meant about Bracket being a very unreliable. And you used a large skimmer too. Yeah, you hurt yourself. So, like I said, it's not a very reliable weapon. Oh, brother. That's coming right at me, huh? Oh, crap! This is gonna hurt a little bit. Not much, but it's gonna. Ow. 50. Yeah. They hurt much, but since I know where to hit you, I'm gonna use a mortar shell and then a big shell. I hope that the first ammo will take away the shield and the second one will hit. But let's try what happens. No, it's just both dotted on the shield, but the shield's gone, and if it's a stupid one, it will not renew the shield. Oh. Oh, it's got lava. Oh boy, I was that was my plan to do next, because this might kill it. Suckers of sulfur. That's a lots of lava. No, oh, 82, almost killed it. It renewed. Okay, it's got the invert. I gotta be careful about. It. Windows really blows. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Hey, come on, this was the bounty. 94, of course. Played Doom yet? I never have, and I never will. Well, I have played Doom 3, but yeah, it wasn't my thing. And I've never really played Doom at all, so... Doom is not my thing at all. Burn over! I use the jackhammer, and that might actually do a lot of damage on it. No? Okay. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. This one hurt a bit. Well, gee, that's good to know because coming on top of me. Ow, ow, ow. Those were some big explodey thingies. Which hurt me. Ow. I think I'm gonna move a little bit towards here. There's a. You can move as much as you want, but there's a limit of how far you can. As it said, movement rate exceeded. So now I have to compensate on. Where to shoot? I really don't know now. So let's use a uh, let's use a large skimmer just to be safe. Boop. Boom. Gotcha. But did it kill it? Nope. Should have used another one. I hope you have insurance. 
It's coming back at you. Yeah, I hope you who you have insurance. Oh God. No, I hate it when they use those. Ninety-one. I almost killed it. Feel the power of the dark side again. Uh, these videos are gonna be long because all these uh, rounds always last long. So I'm gonna put one video per round because this is a this is a real fun game. So I'm not just gonna end it here. I'm gonna play all. All three rounds through, and we'll just see how it hap how it goes. You never know; I might win. This game is really unpredictable, like the other games. Now, there's the angles, as you can see. It's a really crappy. Oh, that's gonna destroy! Oh crap! No, don't don't come to me! Don't be no no! It was only a small one, so it didn't hurt me. But they lost their shields again, so I'm gonna put a little scared. Oh, they're gonna kill them. Yeah, they're dead because they lost their shields. They become big. They became a big target right away. So. Oh no! After all, we've been through. Oh crap! Oh, it was just dirt balls and everything. Whenever you, whenever uh, a uh. Robot dies in the game. That is always what happens. They deploy some kind of a death scene, uh, but sometimes they do that. They do that, like they throw dirt balls around, maybe some exploding thingies. But sometimes it's just an animation where they just blink out of existence, or a beam comes down and picks them out of the equation. So you never know what's gonna happen. When they die, so you have to be really careful not to be around others when they die. So, I'm a real pickle here. 600 is the max power that you can use, but uh, let's say 250 is around there. So the point, uh, now let's try this. I'm gonna test it with a small blast. Let's see what kind of damage I can do, if any. Okay, I can have to take a few off. Hey, Bavis, he's a log. Nice butt head quotation there. I just don't know where from off the Beavis and butt head, but anyway. I'm really glad that they're bombarding each other and leaving me alone, which is good. And of course, now I've, now that I said it, said it loud, loud, send Mike a fiver. No. So now that I've said it out loud, they might start shooting at me. Ah, oh, good. This hurts me more than you. No, then it'll hurt me. Stop it! No! I'm gonna die. Is that it? It won't hurt. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, crappity do ya. I didn't kid. I didn't get to kill anyone. And they killed me, and I can watch the end of it, uh, how how it goes. But no, that's not no, that's never fun to watch them try to kill each other, taking a, an hour to kill each other. So let's see, Arlene, Madge, and Yolanda did almost the most damage. I got 100 points. Those points add up to your money. So I had about 800 when I died. So now we'll we'll have about 900 money. Which is not good. And this music is good. This is the music that I like more than the uh, intro music. So, that was round one. It's not going really well, but this is still a fun game, even if you don't win. Still a lot of fun to do. So, I hope you enjoyed watching the video, because I had fun doing it. And as always, I hope you... Excuse me. I hope you have a good evening. Good afternoon and a good morning, and I will see you all later. Take care, people. Bye. Uh.